We're Naik and Kim, a couple from Belgium who spent the last year and a half traveling the world and are now converting a van into a tiny house on wheels. We're hoping to take this baby on the road in a month or so and cruise it through Europe. Today we're going to build out the electricals, something that Naik has been searching and planning for a good few weeks and we think we're ready to get started. Good morning there. A bunch of packages have arrived. Just gonna have a quick look what's inside. It's always nice to uh, open up these things and see what the uh, surprises might be in there. Hmm. What is it? <laughs> you ordered it, you should know. Oh, gonna build the kitchen cabinets with veneer, with plywood, sorry, <clears throat> with plywood, still an early morning, with plywood. And the edges, we're gonna finish it with veneer. You put it on top, use an iron, and then this tool should scratch it off or like peel it off right next to the edge so that it looks really really nice and uh, I just bought this one especially for that. Ooh, screws, bolts. As you can see Naik is always very excited for mail day. Oh, the good wood glue. Now for the big one. I ordered this a couple of weeks ago. It took about three, four weeks, no, three weeks to arrive. It's very, very heavy. It's about 30 kilos. Now for the final review. <laughs> hey, here it is. Ooh, the fry stuff in, without a doubt. Yeah, this is deep like a, fryer fries a right really here. nice expensive deep fryer. Now this is our battery. Today we are building our electrical system. Uh, we've already run most of the wires, I think, which we'll find out today and probably tomorrow because I won't be able to finish it in one day. Careful, careful. Squeeze it in here. Today we'll be installing our electrical system, which consists of well, a 12 volt circuit, which is like the battery gives off 12 volt. You can run off your phone off that. You can run, I don't know, lights off of that. You can run a bunch of things off of that. Which is really, really nice. But, but, but a lot of appliances only run on 230 volts uh, AC. If you're in the US, that's 110 volts AC, but the principle is the same. You need high voltage for some equipment to run because our normal electrical appliance all run on 230 volts. So like your laptop, if you would want a TV, the fridge, that all runs on yes, that indeed. voltage. Yes, indeed. All the battery stuff, inverter, etc., is gonna come, if I'm not mistaken, over here, underneath our bed, underneath our seating area, because we're gonna put lids on top of uh, on top of this structure, on top of the bed frame, and you can still access everything underneath. But on a serious note, though, I just said it's not that complicated, electricals. It is not that complicated, actually, but there are serious uh, safety and health risks involved if you don't do it correctly. There's a risk that you start a fire in your van or just fry your complete electricity of your van. And there's also a big risk of getting electrocuted which could harm you very much or even kill you so just please be careful and if you don't have any prior electrical experience or you don't exactly know what you are doing please don't do it without the help of somebody who knows or somebody who is a professional and who can guide you so these are our solar panels they're one meter 60 and one meter in that direction they're normally used on houses uh, why did I buy this one well because it's a lot cheaper than those RV uh, solar panels, those RV solar panels are typically 100, 150 watts and they cost 150 to 300 dollars per piece. Well, this one costs about 160, 180 dollars or euros um, for one, for about less than 400 dollars. I have almost 700 watts of solar, so uh, it was a pretty, pretty good deal and they're pretty good quality as well because they're made by Hyundai, uh, yes, the car company. and. Vroom, 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 vroom. <laughs> you know, they don't have an engine built in, unfortunately. That would be really cool, but they're built by here and I, the car company, so I think they're a pretty good quality. And we're gonna mount these on top of the roof of the van in one of the next few videos. And we'll have to figure out how to actually get those babies up there, because as you can tell, we do not have a ladder yet. And here we have a bunch of electrical components. Hi there, 
Welcome back. So we're in the table with all the electrical components. Well, not all of them, but most of the electrical components. The main, the heart of the whole system is here. As we have here is the input, the DC-DC charger takes power from the battery, from the alternator, gives it to the battery. The alternator is basically the thing uh, next to your engine that charges your car battery. And we're going to be hooking up this battery to uh, the alternator. So when we drive, there's also power coming in. This one, charge control or solar charge control, takes power from the solar panels, gives it to the battery. And this one is a battery charger, just takes uh, power from the normal power grid, gives it to the battery. Battery, heart of the system. And then here we have the inverter, it gives, takes 12 volt, it gives off 230 volt. Uh, this converts the battery power into usable power for normal electrical appliances. This is a little magical device, I don't know how it works, just magic. I think there's a couple of wizards inside actually. <laughs> and this is our 12 volt fuse box, so it will take 12 volts directly from the battery and then distribute it to wherever we need in the van. Hey, that's it. We're ready. Let's go. Let's go have some beers. Put all this stuff in the van and we're ready. <laughs> so the battery is not showing any life at the moment. I see there's a display here. So I'm just going to hook it up to the charger. Probably it has been, I don't know, like disabled for transportation. Did that noise come from the battery or from the table? What was the table? All right, the light is on here. So it seems to be charging. The display is not showing anything. Just taking off the protective cap so we can uh, access the where the power is coming from. That is not the table. <laughs> Run! Run for your life! No, it's just a fan of the charger. Thirteen and a half volts means we have some power. Oh, there's a button here that you can push. Look. <laughs> oh God! I was completely prepared to have to send this back. Yeah, it took three weeks to arrive here. So I was like, was oh my God! Fun. Another another thing we're gonna have to wait for to get the battery back. Ooh, nice, look. Button goes off, button goes off, button goes on, button goes off. Sometimes it's the small stuff in life. So, let's uh, continue. These things, well, they're just for hooking up stuff. So we're just going to be mounting this somewhere, uh, hook it up to the battery. And this gives us a bunch of points where we can distribute the power to. One of the biggest risks is to have a short circuit uh, when I hook up these cables, for example, and they dangle around and they touch each other. It will be a big problem because this battery is capable of delivering loads and loads of power, at least 600 amps. It can deliver in one go, which means more than 7,000 watts. So we're just gonna be super, super careful and attach a circuit breaker. This is a circuit breaker of 250 amps so once the current is in excess of 250 amps this little thing here in the middle will melt and then basically the current will stop so it's quite safe normally I'm going to either use a soldering iron to attach this or in some cases I will be using this it's just a fuse holder for circuit breaker fuse holder wait too much stuff need more hands I could I would I should be an octopus <laughs> Now I'm just going to quickly have a little test with this. Just to be on the safe side, I'm going to put in this fuse breaker. Please do not do this to attach something permanently. This is just for five minutes to test it. Yeah. Well, that's not supposed to happen, is it? It is off though, I checked. Oh. It wasn't off, which is why it's part. So I always double check to make sure it's off because I put it off, but then probably hit it. Magic, put it back on again. All right. All right, now it should be working. So there should be live power coming out from this AC output. Is there something we can use to test this? Otherwise we'll have to stop filming at some point. Look, it's working. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it works, all right. 
just want to make sure before we go install it and drill it and whatever. Turn it off. Double checking, what is off? Okay, that's off. You may be thinking, and some people have said, uh, you're gonna put windows in there, right? And yes, we are. But we have a few problems in terms of the windows because in Belgium, you're not allowed to put in your own windows. You have to have it installed by um, a professional that has a certain quality certificate from the government and there aren't that many of those in Belgium. And the ones that are there ask very, very, very good money. Obscene amounts of, obscene amounts of money. For the window install because they know you have to go through one of them. So we're currently still looking for a place to have them installed at a relatively normal price but so to be clear it's gonna be a lot brighter in there also because we're gonna use the nice white paint so the paint that we're gonna be using for most of our cabinets as well as for the seating area is this trim paint with a satin finish a lot of times people use like this eggshell shade of white but we're gonna go for white white the brightest white you could find Paint shop is open for business. The paint shop is open for business. I finished painting the bed frame, looks nice and white, nice and crispy now. But, but we sort of had to clean up everything yeah. in a we hurry. Have to leave. We are going to have our measurements taken of the van for the windows, which we're going to order very finally, soon. Finally, finally. Finally, so we just uh, cleaned up everything and then we're gonna continue uh, later. Yeah, see you later. See you in a little bit. It has been a few hours since we went to the place where they may or may not be installing, finally been putting some windows into our van. So if they still have them in stock, it's probably gonna be at the shop in one or two weeks. It's 11.44 p.m. at the moment. Don't ask me why, but that time on the left is the current time in Kaohsiung city in Taiwan. It seems my phone is having a hard time transitioning back to life in Belgium and it really wants me to stay aware of what time it is in, it is in Taiwan at all times. The last couple of days have been rough on both Nike and myself because it is almost midnight and look what I'm doing. Editing a video and hoping to still get it done today even though so far I only edited about 15 minutes of the video, so up until here. And this is all of the footage. So I have to go through at least two more hours worth of footage, go through it, see what I can use, edit all of that together, export it, upload it, before I can go to sleep, because if we don't do that, we're not gonna be able to post another video this week, and we will only have posted one video. <laughs> Well, hello there. Hi there. What are you doing on this beautifully painted bed frame? So I'm just, I was just figuring out this puzzle of how I'm going to place all these elements. Like this is approximately the size of the battery. It's a bit higher, but it's the same width and length. Where I'm going to place a charge controller. This is like Lego for adults. Isn't it? <laughs> the DC charger, the 12 volt distribution block. And I also remember that I'm going to have to put in 230 volts distribution parts, which I also ordered. It should be here tomorrow. But yeah, I think I figured it out. Put this one here, well, against this wall. This one here, I think. Because there are some requirements, like each machine gives off heat, um, has the ventilator as well, and they need certain dimensions around it to be clear, to be able to cool off. So I had to um, puzzle a bit. The past few days have been a little bit rough it's been rough yeah i yeah. mean 
Um, especially, I think our editing and our posting has suffered a little bit because right now our number one priority is to get the van ready as soon as we can, yeah. and everything is taking longer than we thought it would. And for Christ's sake, we want to be out of here before COVID gets any worse in Belgium, in yeah. case it does. So, yes, indeed. And we've been like going at it every single day from 9 a.m. Now it's 12. I'm not nearly done. Uh, yeah. Going to be a few more hours probably before Kim has finished the edit. Oh yeah. And then tomorrow morning getting up bright and early eight again, starting it all over. So it's uh, it's gonna be worth it. I know it's gonna be worth yeah. it. Just I mean just but, sitting here. But the combination of doing the van, seeing friends and family, and then making these videos because it just takes up quite a bit of time when you want to film something while you're doing it. Just cutting a piece of food, you want to make some. Nice compilation of it takes two, three times as long. So. Yeah, it is gonna be worth it. Like, yeah. just, just, oh, just be quiet now. Oh, it's nice. You can hear the rain. In a can few weeks' time, in a few weeks' time, this will be a cool, fluffy bed. You will be at a nice camping yeah. spot, overnight camping spot, while it's raining, listening to the rain as we doze off in our cozy little bed. Yes, indeed. With so beautiful nice. electricals. I'm gonna continue my edit. Good luck. Good luck. I shall see, see you in a little bit. By the way, also, you're probably not familiar with this house. We're staying in the house of friends who have been so kind to offer us with a place to stay while we work on our van. But we really do want to say a big thank you to all of you for staying with us, for being so patient with us. And we are trying to get back, we are going to get back to the normal upload frequency as soon as possible. Speaking of uploading and posting and videos, I finished up the video at around, I think 4.30 in the morning, 5, but then I napped a little bit on the couch and by the time it was exported and started uploading, it was 6 a.m. so it was a long night. Yesterday I, I completed, I think, the puzzle, the, the jigsaw, Tetris. the Tetris, and I've got a pretty good idea of what I want to do now. Probably it will change again once I start installing it, but hey. Next job, cleaning up spaghetti. So basically what I'm doing right now is removing all the excess tubing in this little box that we're installing all our electricals in. So I'm just cutting all of that out like so. Now this is a very small piece, but there are also pieces about yay long in there. Look at this. It's a lot less spaghetti now, isn't it? Um, and then we can actually start connecting stuff. I love doing this. Like, look, again. Whoa. Also, yesterday our kitchen has arrived. Not yet in kitchen form. We're gonna turn it into a kitchen What's ourselves. A kitchen? We spent the full day earlier this week measuring out what we think, what we think being the most important word in this sentence, what we think should be the dimensions of our kitchen cabinet. And then we ordered all of this wood that you see right here, from here to here to all the way over here. Every single piece here sewn very precisely according to the exact specifications which we think we will need. We're gonna paint all of this. It's gonna require several layers, so it's gonna take us quite a while. It's about probably 1 a.m. Pretty knackered, it was a long, long, long day, but very rewarding. Now we have all these beautiful painted surfaces. Although, <laughs> oh, don't mention it, it never happened. It's found not more real. Than we forgot to paint on the other side, but yeah. We did a heck of a good job. Got a lot done today. Thanks for watching, guys. If you're new here, subscribe to our channel if you want to see more van build videos. And of course, after that, we're going to continue traveling. And if you liked the video, please hit the like button. That's it for today. Bye bye.